Hello, everyone. In this video, you will listen to some different conversations in different places. Moreover, you will also learn a lot of vocabulary about daily life topics. Watch until the end of the video to practice your English. At the restaurant. Good evening. Welcome to Ellie's Steak. Can I help you? We made a reservation for dinner. Could I have your name, please? Tom Evan. Table for two at 7 p.m. Yes, please come this way. Thank you. Can I have the menu, please? Certainly. Would you like to have regular water or mineral water? Get me a mineral water, please. Two mineral waters, please. Sure. Here's the menu, sir. Before ordering, can you tell me what are the famous dishes in this restaurant? Seared beef sashimi, blue cheese cured eye of the rib ribeye, and wagyu steak tartare are the famous dishes of our restaurant. Lamb noodles are also the top most liked food in the restaurant. I would like to have one blue cheese cured eye of the rib ribeye and one seared beef sashimi. Would you like to have anything else? One shredded Brussels sprout salad and one lamb noodle, please. Would you like to have any drinks with your meal? Mulled wine cocktail, please. Absinthe Hemingway, please. There is a short 15-minute wait. Your dishes will be here soon. Thank you. If you need anything else, please let me know. At the airport. Good morning. Do you have your passport with you? Yes, here it is. What's your final destination? Canada. Are you a tourist or here on business? I'm a tourist. Do you have any luggage? Just this one. Okay, please place your bag on the scale. Sure. Here are your boarding passes and luggage tags. Don't lose them. Your flight leaves from gate 10B and it'll begin boarding at 1020. Your seat number is 24E. Please go to the gate check-in to check in your baggage. Can you point me to the gate check-in? Sure, it's that way, around that corner. Great. Thank you. Next. Here's my ticket. Please remove your jacket, belt, and all metal items. Make sure your drinking water bottle is empty. Put everything, including documents, into your bag. I brought a laptop. Where should I put it? You can place your laptop in a separate tray. I'm done. Now please step through the scanner. What's wrong? Please step to the side. Do you have any coins in your pocket? Yes, I forgot. Ah, that's the problem. Put your coins in this bin and walk through the scanner again. Okay. Excellent. You're all set. Remember to unload your pockets before you go through security next time. I'll do that. Thank you. Have a nice flight. At the car park. Where are you now? I'm in the car park. I'm also at the car park. Where are you parked? I'm in parking lot B. How about you? I'm at the entrance. I got it. Can you wait there a few minutes? After parking, I will come over. Hey, Alan. How's it going? 
I'm good, thanks. How about you? Very well. How long have you been here? About 15 minutes. Sorry for making you wait. This parking lot is very big and spacious, so it's a bit hard to find a spot. Don't bother about that. The first time I came here, I couldn't find a parking space either. How did you know about this place? A colleague I know who lives nearby recommended this place to me. Is there anything interesting about this building? On the roof space has many entertainment areas. On the fourth floor has a very famous restaurant. The food there is very delicious. Sounds great. Let's go to that restaurant. I have some issues to discuss with you. Sure. I also have some new ideas for you. Let's go. At the cosmetic store. Good afternoon. How may I help you? I want to buy foundation and some eyeshadows. Can you recommend a few? May I ask what brand of foundation you normally use? I often change the foundation and don't have a specific brand. As I see, you have combination skin. How do I choose a foundation for combination skin? I think you will like this foundation. I highly recommend this. In this cream, the compound can control oil on your skin and it has moisturizing nutrients which avoid making your skin dry. Can I test it? Sure, let me help you. Very smooth and absorbs quickly. How much does it cost? It costs $45. Okay, I'll take one. Now, would you recommend me some eyeshadows? What color are you looking for? I like bright colors such as pink, orange, and nude. Do you like shimmer eyeshadow? Yes, I love it. Bright colors have colors like these. What do you think? These colors look nice. I like this one. This item is a bestseller. How long can this eyeshadow last? Eyeshadow tends to last for quite a long time if taken good care of and stored properly. For this one, it may last up to 24 months. Perfect, I'll take this one. Could I have the bill, please? Your total comes to $60. Do you want to pay by credit card or in cash? Credit card, please. Do you have a membership card? No, I don't. Here's your receipt and change. Thank you for shopping with us. Hope to see you soon. At the pet shop. Hello, how can I help you? I'm planning to adopt a pet. Could you give me some advice? What kind of pet would you like to have? I'm considering between getting a dog and a cat. Cats and dogs have different needs and characteristics. I think the decision depends on the lifestyle you have and your personal favorite. If you're an energetic, outdoorsy type who loves keeping active, a dog may be the right choice for you. Dogs need lots of fresh air, open space, and regular walks. My work is quite busy. I don't have much time to walk a dog. If so, you might be better suited for a cat. Cats are relatively quiet and are happy to be left alone to sleep and entertain themselves for most of the day. They don't need walking and don't need as much indoor space as dogs. Thank you for your help. I have made the decision. Can you take me to see some kitties? Yes, of course. Please follow me. This way. At the bookstore. Nancy, is that you? Alex, OMG! Long time no see! How's it going? I'm doing well, thank you. You? Nothing much. It's great to see you here. 
Are you looking for a novel? Yeah, actually. I want to buy a gift for my best friend, Luna. She is a bookaholic. She is especially in love with fantasy novels. I see. In case you need any help, I'm also a big fan of sci-fi, thrillers, and fantasy genres. Oh, really? Do you recommend any of these books? I'm in two minds about Harry Potter and Percy Jackson. What would you say? Well, I'd say those series are quite classic. Your friend has probably read or heard about them. You're right. My friend really enjoys all kinds of witches and wizards. What about supernatural powers? Sounds good. Luna's actually never tried reading about heroes. If so, I highly recommend you buy The Kingdom. It's kind of like a science book, but the author was able to come up with an original plot, which makes the book mind-blowing. Wow, is there any plot twist? You can say so. Actually, I found it mixed with a bit of horror as well. My friend's gonna love it. I'll get this one. How about you? Are you looking for any novels? Actually, I need to buy some language proficiency books. Are you studying for the IELTS? No, I need to hit the books with some TOEIC materials. Ah, I see. Actually, I have some at my home, and they are still brand new. Wow, really? I'd love to borrow them if you don't mind. Not at all. Feel free to use them. At the beach. Hooray! Finally, we have a vacation on the beach. I want to dive into the ocean right away. Ooh, let's go swimming. Dad, Evelyn, I can't swim. You can stay there and sunbathe with your mom. How's it going, sweetie? Dad and Evelyn don't want to play with you? I want to be like them, but I can't. Do you want to sign up for a swimming class when we get back? I love the sea. But I'm not into swimming, Mom. All right, it's up to you. Want to get a suntan with me? No, thanks. I think I'm going to build a sandcastle. Woo! That was fantastic. Are you interested in a seashell hunt, Jack? Whoever finds the most seashells wins. Okay, let's go. Look at our buckets, Mom and Dad. We got a lot of seashells and I'm the winner. Congrats, Evelyn and Jack. Are you guys still interested in family volleyball? Why not? Let's make teams now. I'm with Mom. Then I'm gonna be Dad's teammate. Let's get started. At the bank. Good morning. I would like to open a bank account, but I didn't know what to prepare. Good morning, sir. Please take a seat first. Did you bring a valid photo ID? I didn't bring my passport here, but I have a driver's license. That is still fine. May I have a look at it? Here you are. Okay. So basically, we have two types of accounts, checking and savings. My friend also told me about this, but could you be more specific? If you only want to use it for daily purchases, you can set up a checking account. How about a savings one? Just as the name stated, you can put some money aside and get high interest rates. Sounds great, but I don't want to save anything for now, so only a checking account, please. Got it. To open any kind of account, you need to put in at least $25 as a deposit. All right, here is $25. I'm setting up a checking account for you now.
at the church. I'm so nervous, Linda. It's okay, relax. Everyone's so friendly here. No, I'm worried that I might make a mistake. God will see my flaws and he will punish me. It doesn't work like that at church, Emma. There are so many people. Are we late? We're actually eight minutes early. Can I take one of the church bulletins? Since this is your first time, you can take it. Now, you should choose your place in the pew. These are Bibles and hymn books. How do I know when I should stand or sit? There is a pastor who will guide us through everything, so no worries. You should take a look at the bulletin carefully because there will be a call and answer session. That means we have to respond to the pastor, right? You got it. At the concert hall. Excuse me, are you also coming to the Rock Barbie concert? Yes, I am. What's the problem? Phew! I was just afraid that I came on the wrong day. I didn't see any fan-made banners for Rock Barbie, so I was wondering. I see. Don't worry. I think they're already inside the hall now. Want to join me? It would be my pleasure. By the way, my name is Minzy. Nice to meet you, Minzy. I'm Selena. How long have you been a fan of Rock Barbie? I've been a fan for about a month. Unbelievable. Did you come to their concert last month? Yeah, that was my first time listening to their music and it was absolutely gripping. Who's your favorite member? Everybody is crazy about the vocalist, but I think the drummer is so sexy. OMG, I thought I was the only fan of the drummer. Really? So glad that I met you. By the way, do you know whether we can video them today? I remember one of the staff asked me to delete all of the videos during the last concert. That's too bad, but don't worry, they still allow us to take pictures. So we can only take pictures but no video, right? That's right. God, look around. It's almost jammed. But we'd better feel lucky because nobody can stand up and block our view. You're right. We are in a good spot. OMG! Rock Barbie is coming onto the stage. At the police station. How can I help you? Good morning. I would like to report a theft. All right. Please sit down and tell me where you were when it happened. I was walking on King Street this morning. Suddenly a man approached me. He rushed past me and took my purse. Can you describe the man who took your purse? He was wearing a mask, so I didn't see his face clearly. He was... Not tall at all. He was maybe the same height as me, but he's definitely a white man with short, curly hair. That's all I can recall. Thank you for the details. Can you tell me what is inside your purse? I have a debit card, a photo of me, and $50 in cash. May I know your name, please? My full name is Emma Harrington. And your phone number? It's 145-920-487. We will contact you if we happen to find anything new about this guy. Thank you, police officer. At the swimming pool. Hello, class. 
Please welcome Jenny. She's a newcomer to our swimming club. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. I can't swim now, but I really want to learn. I hope we can make good friends and learn to swim together. Definitely, Jenny. Before we get started, let's do some warm-ups. Let's start with putting your hand up and down. Now keep your hand on your hip, tilt your other hand to the left, and switch. All right, are we ready to swim now? Not really. May I ask whether you're scared of water, Jenny? No, teacher. I enjoy soaking in the water. That's why I want to learn how to swim. Good job. Because before we swim, we have to build water confidence. Now, do you want to try to hold your breath? I'm eager to learn more about it. What should I do? Okay. First... At the circus. Wow, look at the festive circus. Fantastic. This is my first time coming here. It must be really fun. I bet you're going to like it. What are people going to perform at the circus today? No idea. I haven't checked the brochures yet. But look around us. There are a lot of clowns trying to give candy to the kids. There must be a clown performance today. What can a clown do? Well, they can crack some jokes and make you laugh all day long. And they also do some magic tricks as well. Sounds interesting. Shall we go inside the circus tent now? Sure. Let me buy the tickets first. OMG, John! Look at the people who are standing on each other. It looks like they're making a human pyramid. You're right, they're so talented. But this is just the beginning of the show. I heard one of the highlights of the circus is the animal performance. OMG! I once saw elephants dancing with the performers on TV. I wish I could see them today as well. Don't worry, not only elephants, but tigers and dolphins are also in the spotlight today. We may have a chance to feed the dolphins, and they will kiss us as a thank you. Lovely! I can't wait to meet them. At the stadium. Lucy, we're here. Thank God. I've been searching for you guys. Don't worry. We cannot go inside without you. Do we need to buy the tickets? No, I got a triple ticket here. Cool. How did you buy it? From an online store, and it was much cheaper than a single adult ticket. Let's go inside the stadium now. I'm so excited. Wait, guys, I forgot who's playing today. Tiger King versus Bear Broke. And we're coming here cheering for the Tiger team. So excited. I think they're going to win today. But doesn't it all depend on the referee? Oh, yeah. I hope that the match today will be fair. Actually, I heard that the bear team is improving much better after their last training. It's not as easy to beat them anymore, so I think there will be a tie. Good guess. Let's see who's on a roll today. OMG. Tiger's goalkeeper is doing very well today. Yet still nobody can score. I'm a little bit disappointed. Come on, just keep watching. Wait, look, yes! I knew it. Tiger finally beat Bear 1-0. 
The time is almost over, but Tiger nailed it. Good job, team. Look at how excited Peter is right now. I bet he's going to take us to the next Tiger match. I know, right? At the bakery. Welcome to David's Bakery. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi, I would like to order a birthday cake for my son. We have many brand new birthday cakes right over here. Please have a look at them. My son loves chocolate, so I'm quite of two minds about this one and this one. This one is tiramisu and this one is brownie. Hmm, I think I'll go for the tiramisu one. What cake size would you like? I'd like a six inch one, please. Got that. What kind of message do you want me to write on the cake? Happy 10th birthday, Tony. Oh, your son is 10 years old now. He's the same age as my daughter. Really? <laughs> when will you come to pick up the cake, ma'am? This afternoon. Is 3 p.m. okay? It's totally fine. We'll prepare the cake before that. We'll also give away 10 candles and three birthday hats as a gift to your son. I appreciate it. I'd love to walk around your store for a bit. Please enjoy your time here. Topic. Today we will go through 10 different ironic situations. Let's pay attention and find out what new vocabulary you can learn from these situations. Topic 1. He's a very good actor. Thank you all for joining the press conference for our new movie. Do you have any questions? Yes, I have a question. Okay, what is it you want to ask? Your new movie has been such a major hit at the box office. What do you think is the major element of this movie's success? I think most of the credit goes to Jack. He's a very good actor. Can you be more specific? Well, I think Jack has done an excellent job of portraying the death of the main character. What about his portrayal is so excellent? To be honest, Jack looked like he had transcended to another realm like he is truly disconnected from the living. Thank you for your answer. So how about you, Jack? Did you know that your performance would eventually become such a global sensation? Honestly, I can't tell you because I was asleep the entire scene. Topic two. We'd better go back to our seats. Wow, so many people here. I didn't know that people would be interested in another modern Cinderella play. Well, it is a classic. I'm glad that we have the front row seats in our dress to kill tonight. There you are. I've been looking for you two everywhere. Come on, let's go on stage. Wait, oh, we're what? not... Lila, what are we doing now? Everyone is looking at us. I don't know how to act. Just follow me. Have you heard the news, dear sister? Who, who, what news, sister? The prince is going to hold a ball to find someone worthy to be his wife. Good for him, but what do we have to do with that? <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Keep going. Oh, you mean that one of us can be his wife? Obviously, silly. Do you think that there's any chance that we both can be his wives? During this time of patriarchy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> we are such naturals. They love us. We highly apologize to the audience. The actresses just called me. They had some traffic problems, but they've made it here. Well, 
We'd better go back to our seats. Topic 3. Are there any guided tours today? Hi, Peter. Long time no talk. Why do you call me on a Sunday morning? Maria, I'm freaking out. Okay, let's slow down. I'm listening. You see, we are running out of tour guides just now, but a group of Italian guests has just called and asked me, are there any guided tours today? So you want me to be your tour guide because I'm an Italian teacher? Yes, please, Maria, can you do this for me? It's a bit much to ask, and I still have a class to teach this afternoon. Don't worry, I'll pay you afterward. Fine, I'll cancel the class, but you owe me this time. Hi, Peter. I'll be there in five minutes, so don't worry. Maria, it turned out they said Tuesday and not today. I misheard the Italian accent. So, thank you so much for trying to help me out, and I hope you have a nice weekend. Topic 4. Beyond One's Means I have to say I'm very impressed, Betty. You've only bought one bag this month. I told you I can be financially responsible. I'm sorry I scolded you last month. It's all right. You were right anyway, I admit. Last month I kind of lived beyond my means. That's right. And look at this bag. Look how cute it is. Ha, uh, thank you. And now can I have my bag back? Wait, is this a Gucci bag? Yes, Mom, but it's still better than buying 15 bags like last month, right? How much is a Gucci bag? Well, it's only about $2,000. Topic 5. Ill at Ease Aaron, it's 7.30. Why aren't you out of bed yet? Mom, I don't think I can get out of bed today. Why? What's the matter? I suddenly feel so tired. I will be so ill at ease if I have to go to school today. I don't want my friends to see me like this. Don't worry. Let's just take a day off. I'll make you some soup. I'm so glad that my mom bought it. I was just really lazy and wanted to take a day off. About one hour later. Aaron, your friend Dylan came by. Hi, Aaron. You're sick today? Dylan, why are you at school? The teacher got sick, so we got a day off. Wait, what? But don't you worry. At least you don't have to worry about homework, right? Topic 6. Receptions on the first floor. You sure this is the right hotel that you booked online? Yeah, I'm sure. Look, they have the same architecture. Well, I don't want to say this, but they might have just scammed you. What? How is that possible? Well, because we've been here forever and can't find reception. Oh my, you're probably right, Harry. Hi, I'm the security guard. I have seen you guys wandering around here for like 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, sure, sorry. We've just been trying to find a reception that doesn't exist. Well, what do you mean it doesn't exist? Well, they say that reception is on the first floor. But we have been wandering around here forever and can't find it. Of course you can't. The first floor in France is the second floor in America. Reception is right upstairs. Topic 7. 
Topic 7. Here's my business card. I know this is your first time doing sales, but the job is quite easy. If a customer walks in, you help them to find what they need. All right, anything else? Once they're done shopping, you give them your business card. Most of our new sales representatives tend to forget this. Oh, I won't. Just believe in me. Okay, good. Now I have a Zoom meeting to attend. You stay here and do your job, all right? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. How can I help you? Oh, no, thank you. Is Sarah here? Mrs. Sarah isn't available now, sir, but I can also help you find what you need. No, no, I'm fine. If Sarah isn't here, I'll come back. Sir, if you're going to leave, here's my business card. Please take it. No, I really don't need... Sir, I can't let you go if you haven't taken my business card. Naomi, what are you doing? That's our manager, Mr. Arthur. Topic 8. Hustle and Bustle Hurry up, Anna. We're going to miss our bus. I'm trying. We've had so much hustle and bustle the last three days, I'm exhausted. Hey, according to the tour schedule, we will have free time tomorrow. Yes, we can finally have some free time for ourselves. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I could use some slow walking at night. Good idea. Oh, oh my god, god what, what happened? happened? Hi everyone. It seems like we're having a few problems with the bus tires. So, I guess we will have to walk back to the hotel. So, the hotel is near here, right? Yeah, sure. It's just about four and a half miles. Topic 9. Put one's feet up. Hi, Lynn. You look quite relaxed today. What is it? Got a new date? Nah. I'm just happy because Lunar New Year is coming. I'm going home soon. So how long are you planning to be gone? About a week, and I have already booked the ticket. I can finally put my feet up. Yeah, but once you come back, you have to do more work. So that's still a lot on your plate, though. What do you mean, I have to do more work? Well, because you're not getting paid on your week off, so you have to work more after that. Wait, I won't? Yeah, because Lunar New Year is not really something we celebrate around here. So it's just going to be like normal days off. Oh, great. Now I can't relax anymore. Topic 10. A friend in need is a friend indeed. What's wrong, honey? You seem upset. Well, there's this guy at work who keeps asking me to loan him some money and I don't know what to do. Why don't you call him and ask for his help and see how he's going to react to that first? That's a good idea. After all, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Parker, my man, what's up? Hey, Oscar, sorry to bother you. My car broke down. Oh, that's just unlucky. I know. Can you come and pick me up? It's late and I'm tired. About that. I would love to, but I just remembered that I have a very important meeting right now. At 9 p.m. Friday night? I know. These workaholics are unbelievable. Okay, thank you anyway. Anytime, my friend. 
So, have you made up your mind? Yep, he's not going to get a penny from me. Topic 1. There's a problem with my computer. Good morning, how may I help you? Hi, there's a problem with my computer. Okay, let me check it out. What problem are you having specifically? Well, first of all, I can't use my mouse. Maybe you just need a new mouse. Also, the computer is so slow, the screen keeps freezing every 15 minutes. Okay, maybe you just need to buy a new hard drive. Oh, I forgot. The keyboard also won't type. So do you want to buy a new keyboard? We have some new samples today. And sometimes it completely shuts down when I'm working. Ma'am, I think you just need to buy a new computer. Topic 2. At Death's Door. What happened that led you to end up in the emergency room? I was just running and then I slipped and fell on the ground. I see. Did you bleed? I'm not sure, but I heard something crack. Could it be a bone? I don't think I can feel my butt anymore. Are you serious? A bone fracture is very serious. I think so, but my body is quite big, so I can't look down and check. I had someone make an emergency call immediately when it happened. Don't worry, Jenny. We all come in different sizes and shapes. Now, I'll check what happened inside. It uh, could hurt a little. Thank you, doctor, for your understanding. Sure. Doctor, is everything all right? Well, Jenny, the good news is you're not at death's door. The bad news is you've fallen on a bird. Now that one's on its deathbed. Topic 3. Can I buy a ticket on the train? Good morning, can I help you? Hi, uh, I'd like to buy a ticket for Cambridge. When are you traveling? I want to travel at around 11 a.m. tomorrow. There's a train at 9.30 or 10.30. Okay, the 10.30 train, please. Do you want a single or return ticket? A return, please. That's 48 pounds and 50 pence. And how would you like to pay? By credit card. Okay, here's your ticket and your credit card receipt. What platform is it? Platform two, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a good journey, sir. Topic four. Have you got any experience? Nice to meet you. I'm Brad, your team leader. I'll be interviewing you today. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Brad. Have you got any experience? May, may I have your CV? I didn't know what to prepare, so I didn't bring anything. Okay. That isn't a very good start. That's the basic requirement when applying. So tell me something about yourself. Well, I'm 22. I'm a Taurus. I'm also a vegan. I like tarot reading, but I'm not superstitious. No, for God's sake. I mean your work experience. Oh, right. Sorry, I got carried away. Look, Haley, we can just stop it here. I don't know why you're here. 
What do you mean? You came here, have no working experience, and have a terrible attitude. I think only crazy people would ever hire you. Please, just leave. Oh, Brad, you've met my niece Haley. She'll be working with us from today. Topic 5 In One's Dreams Nick, is that you? Gosh, it's been a long time since I last saw you. Pete? <laughs> oh my, it's probably been 20 years since we were in high school, hasn't it? Probably. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up my daughter. What are you doing here? Just wandering around. So tell me, how is everything going? Well, I don't want to brag, but everything's been going pretty great. Really? How so? I've been promoted as a project leader at my company. My salary has been doubled since last year. Congratulations! You must have done such a good job. Thank you. I used to think it was only in my dreams, but it finally came true. How about you? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just working here and there. <laughs> Nothing special. Don't worry. Keep striving hard for what you want. And you'll get there soon, just like me. Good advice. I'll keep that in mind. See you around. Hey, kid, how's everything today? Pretty good, but what were you doing talking with our headmaster? Topic 6. Clouds are heavy. Today we will be studying science. Kids, do you know actually that clouds are heavy? Uh, miss, can I say something? Yes, Josh. Is there anything you want to ask? Uh, my mom said clouds are made of air. Air can't be heavy. Well, Josh, clouds are created when water vapor, an invisible gas, turns into liquid water droplets. That means clouds are made up of a physical substance, water. And water is quite heavy, so clouds must be heavy too. I don't get it. So. Why can it fly? The key to why clouds float is that the density of the same volume of cloud material is less than the density of the same amount of dry air. Uh, that means clouds are lighter than air, so they can still float in the air. That's right. Topic 7. Sorry, you must have the wrong number. Hi, is this Mr. Wyndham? This is he. Who's this? Mr. Wyndham, we're calling from the hospital for your blood test results. Oh, yeah, sure. How was it? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Wyndham, it turned out that you are positive for Hepatitis B. God, are you sure? I don't know how to react to this. Unfortunately, sir, this is something that we take very seriously. And we have tested it four times just to be sure. So, what should I do now? I think it's time to tell your family members about this first. Your wife, Mrs. Scarlet Wyndham, and your children. What? Wait, I'm sorry. I'm not married yet. I'm sorry. Let me ask you again. Is this Mr. Edward Wyndham? It's Charles Wyndham. Sorry, you must have the wrong number. Topic 8. 
9 to 5 jobs are boring. What are you doing, Tim? Uh, playing spider solitaire. How about you? Uh, just read some TMZ news on Facebook. Uh, 9 to 5 jobs are boring, aren't they? Yeah. I know what you mean. The work here is just so repetitive. True. I feel like my boss doesn't see my potential. He just doesn't see what I have to offer. Me too. I work like a horse, and he doesn't even acknowledge it. Hey, guys. How's everything? Oh, hi, Jack. Everything is so great. Thank you so much for allowing us to work here. That's right. We love this place so much. Topic 9. You don't have to accept my offer now. Just sleep on it and tell me later. Good morning, Mr. Elliot. I'm calling from the HR department of Mama Company. Yeah, hi. Why are you calling? I'm already working for Dada Company. Yes, sir. We also know that you have just been promoted to Deputy Director of Dada Company. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Look, I'm not planning on leaving here soon, so... Well, you don't have to accept my offer now. Just sleep on it and tell me later. Okay, thank you for understanding. Goodbye. However, I do want to mention, we can offer you a much higher salary compared to Dada. Okay, I'll think about it. You will be given a brand new Xbox Series X, a new iPhone, and iPad. Okay, I get it. Free tickets to Avatar 2, the NBA Finals, X Factor, and... Bye! Topic 10. Find your feet. Hi, Kyle. I'm so glad you're calling me. Is everything all right? Everything's fine, Mom. Don't worry, I'm having a blast in Korea. Really? I'm so happy to hear that. You've never lived far from the family before. You and Dad always worry about nonsense. I'm good on my own. Oh, really? What have you been doing? I'm excited to know. Well, I've learned to cook do my laundry, clean my room, and basically everything. Great. Did it take you long to find your feet when you first moved there? Of course. I can find my feet anywhere I go. Okay, kid. Just want to make sure. So why are you calling me today? Well, I'm a bit short of money right now. Can I borrow, like, uh, only, like, $1,000? Topic 1. What kind of ticket would you like? Hi, I need to buy a ticket to Manchester, please. Sure. What kind of ticket would you like? Well, I need to be there by 3 p.m., so I guess I need a peak ticket. Okay. A peak ticket for today. Is it a one-way or a return ticket? Just a one-way ticket, please. Sure. That'll be 45 pounds. Would you like to add a seat reservation? No, thanks. I'm fine with any seat. All right. Here's your ticket. Your train leaves from Platform 5 in 15 minutes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a safe journey. Topic 2. How do you spell that?
Hi, what's your name? My name is Caitlin. Nice to meet you, Caitlin. How do you spell that? K A I T L Y N. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I got it right. No problem. It happens all the time. My name is John. Pretty straightforward. Nice to meet you, John. So, where are you from, Caitlin? I'm from California. How about you? I'm from New York. It's great to meet someone from the West Coast. Yeah, same here. It's always interesting to meet people from different parts of the country. Topic three: Can we have a table for two, please? Can we have a table for two, please? Of course. Right this way, please. Thank you. Can I start you off with anything to drink? I'll have a glass of red wine. I'll have a water with lemon, please. Great. I'll get that started for you. Do you need a few more minutes to look over the menu? Yes, please. I think I know what I want already. I will have the chicken soup to start, and the steak with fries. Actually, I think I'll have the same thing as him. All right, I'll put that in for you too. Enjoy your evening. Thank you. Topic four. Hold the line, please. Hi. Uh, I need to inquire about my order. Can you help me with that? Sure. I'll be happy to help. Can I have your order number? Yes. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hold the line, please, while I look up your order. Hello, sir. Are you still there? Yeah, I am. Did you find my number? I did, and I see that your order has been shipped and should arrive tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's all. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Have a great day. Topic five. I'm afraid I already have plans. Hey, have you heard about the concert that's happening next weekend? No. What what concert? It's this big outdoor music festival in the park. There's gonna be a bunch of different bands playing. And it's supposed to be really fun. That sounds great. Who are you going with? Just some friends. Do you want to join us? I would, but I'm afraid I already have plans for next weekend. Ah,、uh, that's too bad. Well, maybe we can go to another concert sometime. Definitely, I would love that. Thank you for inviting me, though. Topic six. I love eating at all-you-can-eat buffets. Wow, this buffet has everything. I love eating at all-you-can-eat buffets. I know, right? It's so convenient to have so many options in one place. Definitely, I don't have to decide on just one thing. I can try a little bit of everything. And the best part is, you can keep going back for more. I'm already thinking about getting another plate. 
Me too. I'm eyeing those desserts over there. Have you tried the chocolate cake yet? Not yet, but it looks amazing. Let's go grab some. It sounds like a plan. Topic 7. To ante up. Hey, John, how about we play some poker tonight? Sounds good to me, but do we have enough players? Well, I've invited a couple of my friends and they said they might come. Great, but what about the buy-in? I was thinking we could do $20 per person. That's not bad, but I was thinking we should ante up a bit more. All right, how much do you suggest? Let's ante up to $50 per person. Whoa, that's pretty high. Are you sure? Yeah, I think it'll make the game more interesting. And besides, we only do this once in a while. All right then, I'm in. Let's ante up and play some poker. Topic 8. How is the pizza, Alice? How's the pizza, Alice? It's amazing! You have to try it! Really? What kind did you get? I got the margarita. It's classic and it's always delicious. Hmm. I was thinking of trying the pepperoni. Is it too spicy? No, it's not too spicy at all. In fact, the tomato sauce is really tasty and balances out the spiciness of the pepperoni. Okay, I'll take your word for it. How's your drink? It's good, I got a soda. How about yours? I got a beer and it's really refreshing. This is a great place. Thanks for recommending it. No problem. I'm glad you like it. And seriously, try the margarita next time. It's amazing. Topic 9. I'm really in a hurry. So can you take the quickest route, please? Excuse me, I'm really in a hurry, so can you take the quickest route, please? Of course, miss. I will take the quickest route possible. Don't worry, we'll get there in no time. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I have a really important meeting to attend, and I cannot afford to be late. No problem, miss. I will do my best to get you there on time. We'll be taking the highway, so sit back and relax. Okay, I trust your driving skills. Please drive as quickly as possible while still being safe. Sure thing, miss. I'll get you there in no time. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's all. Thank you for understanding my situation and being so accommodating. My pleasure. Topic 10. Happy. Hey, Jane. Do you want to grab some lunch later? Sure. Where do you want to go? How about that new restaurant that just opened up on Main Street? Sounds good to me. Are you paying or should we go Dutch? Let's go Dutch this time. I've been spending too much money lately. No problem. Going Dutch works for me. What time should we meet? How about 12.30 p.m.? That should give us enough time to walk over there. Perfect. I'll see you at 12.30. Can't wait to try out that new place. Hold your horses.
I am planning to quit my job this month. What? I just can't bear it anymore. I'm so stressed. Just hold your horses. Anna, let's think about this for a moment. I've been thinking about it for months. I thought it was your dream job. Yeah, it was. So, why? After a few months of working, I realized that the work environment did not fit my career path. Well, what's your next move? I don't know yet. My first priority is to relax my mind. And then? Then I will look for other opportunities. Okay, I believe you can do your best. You have to take this tooth out. Excuse me, I have an appointment with Dr. Lee. What is your name, please? Anthony. Please follow me. Dr. Lee is in the second room. Thank you. Hi, Dr. Lee. Hi, Mr. Anthony. Why are you here today? My wisdom tooth hurts. For how long? Four days. Okay, let me check it first. Can you open your mouth, please? Yes. A bit wider. Is everything okay? You've got a bit of decay in this one. Is it serious now? Yeah. You have to take this tooth out. Oh my gosh. No worries. You will feel better right after it is removed. I'd like to have an eye test, please. Good morning, may I help you? Hi, I'd like to have an eye test, please. Sure, have you booked an appointment yet? No, I didn't know if we have to book appointments in advance. Oh, then please come to the ticket printer and pick up your number. Where is it, please? It's over there in that left corner. Sure, thank you. By the way, how long do I have to wait? It depends on your number. Now it's the turn of number 35. I have number 50. There are still 15 people left. It's not too long. You'd better download the app and book an appointment next time. Do you have private medical insurance? Hi there. How can I help you? I want to buy some medicine that my doctor has prescribed. Can I see your prescriptions, please? Yeah, here they are. Thanks. You need to fill in the personal details from here. Sure. Don't forget to sign your name on the second page. Okay, I'm done. Do you have private medical insurance? Yes, I do. So please tick the box for insurance. They will cover 50% of the bill. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks for letting me know. Please give me a few minutes. I will collect them for you. Sure. Here you go. Your medicines are all in the bag. Thank you so much. Could we have an extra bed? Excuse me, how can I help you? I'd like to make a reservation for next weekend. So, Friday the 9th? Yes, it is. I'm afraid that we are totally booked on that day. So what about Saturday? Yes, we still have a room for Saturday the 10th. That's great. I want to book a room for three. 
We only have a couple's room available on that day. But we allow three adults maximum. There's only one bed in that room, isn't there? Yeah, only one bed. Could we have an extra bed? Yeah, but we will charge you an extra fee. How much is it? It's $30. It's okay for me. Where have you traveled from? Sorry for bothering you. How can I help you? Do you know where to change money? We can change money in a bank, or there is a money exchange booth in the airport. Where is it? It's over there on the left in the corner. Okay, thank you. I am also going there. Want to go with me? That's great. I'm traveling alone. Where have you traveled from? I've traveled from the UK. And you? I'm going to fly to Brazil. My next place is also Brazil. Hope we can meet each other there. As cool as a cucumber. How was Tom's interview? Well, it was all right. Did he pass? He is passionate about this job. Yes, of course. The feedback was great and he did well. Really? I was also surprised. It's unbelievable. I expected him to feel nervous before his interview. But he was cool as a cucumber. To be that confident, he must have prepared well. Yeah, though it was his major, he has a lot of knowledge about it. That's right. I haven't seen him since his interview. You should call him. Of course. I will call him tonight. It's a bit tricky. Hey, did you finish the assignment? Not yet, it's a bit tricky. Do you need any help? Not really, I'm still working on it. Hopefully everything will be done by this weekend. Yuck, do you think you have enough time to finish it? I hope so. I will begin writing it as soon as I have researched all the information. Cool. How about you? Have you finished it yet? I'm currently writing the final section of it. You are a star. So fast. To be honest, my brother learned the subject last year. I asked him some things. Good for you. Keep me updated. Thank you for your time today for the interview. Yeah, I hope that the feedback is positive and that we will have the opportunity to work together. I hope so. Do you have any questions for me? Yes. If I pass the interview, when will I start working here? The 1st of May. Does that date work for you? Yeah, I'm available to start on that day. Cool. And I want to know when the results will be available. Sorry for so many questions. I'm just really interested in this position at your company. The results will be set after seven days via email. If I pass all fail. Yeah. That's perfect. Please keep me updated. Thanks for the interview today. Buried with work. Emily, is that you? Why are you still here? I need to get something done. What? Are you still working? Come on, it's 10 already. I know. 
But it's because of me. I will not be able to complete it in time. You've been buried with work the whole day. You need to take a rest. I'm alright. I will be here for only 15 more minutes. Okay, you better rest after. And you? Why are you here? Oh, I forgot my wallet here. I came to collect it. Ah, I see. Do you want to get a cup of coffee? That's great. Would you mind waiting for me for a few minutes? Not at all. I have time. You should avoid alcohol. Let me tell you, Leah, the party last night was lit. Jamie, are you drunk again? Even when we're at the hospital. Come on, you only live once. I'm just here for a regular checkup. Oh, it's my turn. I'm gonna go in and see the doctor. Is everything okay? What did the doctor say? Oh, I messed up, dude. The doctor said if I didn't quit drinking, I'll need proper therapy and treatment. And it's getting worse. I'm so sorry to hear that. Jesus, you should avoid alcohol. I know, I know. Hey, what's that? Oh, the poor man got drunk, then crashed his car into a bridge. Seriously injured. Gosh, I need to stop drinking. Right, drinking is fun sometimes, but the consequences are not worth it. I'd like to transfer some money to this account. Hi, sir. What can I do for you? Unbelievable. My son hasn't got the money I sent last week. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. The receiving bank takes extra time to process it, so your recipient will get the money by Wednesday. Wednesday, Lord. Whatever. Well, now, I'd like to transfer some money to this account. Not my son's, though. For my aunt living in Israel. It's written here. Sir, this is an international bank transfer, so we need to convert currencies first. All right. So my aunt will get the money after two days as usual, right? Oh, I'm afraid to inform you of this, sir. Because of the Yom Kippur holiday in Israel, your transfer may be delayed a couple of days. Delayed again! Green with Envy Rob, I'm tired of all the cooking and cleaning stuff. Why don't we just eat out? Oh, honey, you know we're saving money. Next week, I'm going to take you to Taco Bell, okay? Taco Bell? Are you kidding me? Do you know that Samantha's husband took her to a five-star Michelin restaurant down in Manhattan yesterday? Her husband even plans to take her to Italy for their anniversary next week. Rachel, look at you. You're green with envy. Stop messing around. Well, look at my so-called husband. What did you get me for my birthday last year? You totally forgot. Jesus, years ago. Let it go, Rachel. Wait behind the yellow line. Mommy, look! The railway tunnel looks huge. But where's the train? The train hasn't come yet. Come and stand behind the yellow line, Luca. All right, Mommy. Oh, I want to see what's in there. Watch out. You shouldn't cross that yellow line. It's dangerous. Oh, my bad. Oh, is the train coming? Oh, yes, honey. It's our train. Can't wait. I'm going to go first. Let's go, Mom. 
Wait, Luca. The door hasn't opened yet. Remember what Mommy said. You wait behind the yellow line. Could you trim my beard, please? Oh my God, I can't believe this. Is that you, Jonathan? Hey, Benjamin, it's been five years, right? Oh, I almost didn't recognize you because of the beard. Gosh, it's driving me crazy right now. My daughter doesn't even talk to me. What? Are you serious? The little girl writes to you every week. I know, but she doesn't recognize me with this long and thick beard. She thought I was somebody else. Every time I try to give her a hug, she cries and pushes me away. Poor you. She was so little when you went overseas to work. You're right. Could you trim my beard, please? Sure. A bad hair day. Hi, Jesse. Oh my God, what's wrong with your hair? Hi, May. I woke up this morning and my hair was a mess. I decided to go to the salon to fix it and get a perm. Okay, but your hair doesn't seem to be fixed. I know. The hairdresser chopped off and then messed up everything. My hair is unevenly cut and I look like a lion. And I have a date tonight with Jim. I'm sorry about your hair, but I think it'll be all right. Hope so. Hey, Jesse. It's pretty windy here. Do you want to go inside? Um, sure. Oh, no. Ah, oh, don't look at me. My hair is crazy. I had a bad hair day. Oh, so that's why you're wearing a cap. Come on, Jesse. I don't mind it. You still look good. Just a bad hair day, not a bad day. On cloud nine. Helen, the landlord's here again for the rent. Just paid all my debt, and I'm totally broke right now. Oh, Laura, things will be sorted out. I don't even have a job. How are these bills going to get paid? I thought you had an interview last week. I did, but I think I'm going to fail that interview. They want a perfect fit for the position, requiring a lot of experience while I'm just a newbie. Never stop believing, Helen. You're gonna get it, girl. Look, you have mail. Oh my god. Helen! I passed the interview. Can you believe it? I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Oh my! Congrats! I'm sorry for your loss. Mike, hurry up. We're gonna be late. But I want to go to the playground instead. Come on. We need to meet Grandpa's old friend. You'd better behave yourself today. Where are we going, Grandpa? Where's your friend? We're almost there. Look, Mike, this is my friend. We both served in the military 50 years ago. Same unit. We were very close then. Why is he dead? Oh, I feel like it just happened yesterday. It was a merciless fight. He took the bullet for me and saved my life. Oh, Grandpa, I'm sorry for your loss.
There's a deposit of one month's rent. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hey, I rented an office at the back of this building. Now I want to pay the rent to the account. Can I see the name on the account, please? Here you are. Sir, it seems like you need to pay a security deposit if you want to sign the lease. How much is that, by the way? There's a deposit of one month's rent, which is 2,000 US dollars. Gosh, I don't have that much in the account. Can I pay the rent first, then the deposit later? Sure, it would be 2,000 US dollars then. We better go back to our seats. Peter, the movie will start in 30 minutes. That's a lot of time. Do you want to get something to drink? Okay. Look, Jane, there's a poker machine here. Are you going to play poker here? Gosh, I thought you wanted something to drink. Relax, I'm going to just play for a couple of minutes. It won't take long. You gotta be kidding me. Gosh, it's been more than 20 minutes. I think we'd better go back to our seats, Pete. Wait, just one more time. You said that the past 10 times. Let's go now. Okay, fine. Where's the mailbox? I want to send this letter to my friend. Wow, you have a pen pal? Yes, she is Anna. Did you write her address and phone number yet on the receiving part? Yeah, I did. Look at it, Mommy. Great. Now, you should stick a stamp here. Stamp? What is that? It is a small piece of paper that needs to be attached to the letter. Oh, so I don't have it. Can you give me one? Sure. Let me help you stick it on. Thanks, Mommy. Then what should I do? Let's go to the mailbox. Where's the mailbox? It is on the next street. I'd like to open a personal account. Good afternoon. What can I do for you today? Hi, I'd like to open a personal account. What kind of bank account do you want to open? I don't know yet. Can you tell me about the types of accounts to choose from, please? We have checking accounts and savings accounts. I want to use it for daily transactions, such as buying things at the supermarket. You should open a checking account. Okay, I will open it. Sure. Can you give me your ID card or passport, please? Here you go. Please fill out this form for me. Sure. Please make sure that all signatures are similar. Okay. Hit the books. Do you see Danny anywhere? I think he's back home now. That's weird. He's never missed a football match before. He went home because of an upcoming test. It isn't even an important test. For him, it is super important. Why? He's in danger of failing, so he needs to go home early and hit the book. I thought his scores were good. Not at all. This semester, everything is a mess. Poor him. He must be very stressed. I think he should give up this silly club to focus on studying. I think so. His scores have been worse and worse since he joined it.
stab someone in the back. Do you know Max won't attend the concert anymore? Yeah, I heard about it. I can't believe it. He is the person who is most interested in it. Yeah, we received all the details from him and everything was arranged well. I don't know how it would be if our band missed him. I feel betrayed, as though he had stabbed us in the back. I think he has his own reasons for giving up. This concert is his dream. Do you think we should sit down and talk with him seriously? I tried, but he refused to say anything about it. Sit tight. Mommy, when is our turn? Soon. Look, we have number 19, and now it is the turn of number 15. How long will you stay there? Not too long. I will return immediately when I'm done. Okay. Number 19, please come to gate B. Okay. Honey, sit tight. I will come back as soon as possible. Okay. If you are bored, you can read the book in my bag. I don't like to read books anymore. Can I play video games? It's okay. You can keep my phone. Great. I will sit nicely. Good girl. I will be back soon. Can you translate this for me? Excuse me, can you speak English? Hi, yes, what can I do for you? Thank God, finally, I found a person who can speak English. Yeah, people in this town are not really good at English. Can you translate this for me? I'm not really good at it, but I will try my best. Yeah, thanks so much. They said that your hotel was booked and you can check in at 2 p.m. That's all? Yep, that's all. Are you a tourist? Yeah, I just arrived here two hours ago. I'm looking for the way to my hotel. This town has many beautiful destinations. Enjoy! Please take me to this address. Taxi! Taxi! Hi, where do you want to go? Please take me to this address. Oh wow, it is quite far from here. How far away is it from here? More than 30 driving minutes. How much does it cost? Around $50. It's okay. Right, and don't forget to wear a seatbelt, please. Of course, thanks. Are you new in this town? Yeah, I just moved here last week. How do you know that? Normally, people have preferred to travel by train than by taxi if the distance is far like this. I'm scared of snakes. Mommy! I am so excited about camping tomorrow with my friends. Did you prepare well for it? Yes, I prepared some things, but I think it's not enough yet. What have you prepared already? I prepared a coat and a teddy bear. Have you put your hat in your bag? Oh my, I almost forgot it. Let me put it in. Did you prepare rain boots? I chose sandals. No, you should wear rain boots in case there's a puddle or insect. Are there snakes? I'm scared of snakes. No, it is safe. No worries. You look very good in that suit. Good morning. What are you looking for? Hi. I am looking for a suit. Can you give me some advice, please? Which color do you prefer? 
I like neutral colors, such as black, brown, or gray. Okay, and what about patterns? Do you want a suit with patterns on it? No, I don't think it fits me. So, what about this one? I don't like it much. Do you have other options? What about this one? This color is trending this year. It looks great. Can I try it on? Sure. The fitting room is over there. Thanks. How do I look? You look very good in that suit. Does it fit you? Yeah, I will take it. The flight was canceled due to the storm. Excuse me, I'm on a flight to New York. When will it depart? It looks like it will be delayed by at least two hours. What? Why? It's because of the storm. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. I'm so sorry. I will keep you updated. Thanks. Hopefully everything is fine. My apologies. The flight was canceled due to the storm. Oh my, what should we do now for crying out loud? I'm so sorry. We cannot do anything else now. We will help you to change your ticket. That's not the matter. I have a four o'clock meeting in New York. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.